Hello and welcome to another Unity C Sharp tutorial. My name is Raja and in this video we can learn about transform.position. So each and every object has a transform component and inside that we have a position. So this position stores where in x, y and c axis this object exists. Okay, so if we want to know from our script where our object is, we need to know the position of it. Okay, so in order to get the position, we have to write transform dot position. Oops, transform dot position, and we can store this value inside a vector three pose. Now make sure to create a vector three variable to store this value because position is has three values x, y, and z. We can also access the x, y, and z values separately by using transform.position.x or transform.position.y. Let's try to debug log the positions. Transform.position, oops, transform.position.x. If we go ahead and run it right now, As you can see here it says the position is minus 4.4 since the position on the x axis is minus 4.4. So this is how we can access the x positions on uh, and the same way we can also access the y and z positions also. But what if we try to modify these values? What if we want to change the position to move this object in the left and right uh, in left or right? How can I do that? Maybe we can do it by changing the position or updating the position. Let's try to do that. So in the update, let's try to write transform.position.x plus equals 5f. So that means we are increasing the value of the x position by 5 each and every frame. As you can see, if I select this quad, that means we are moving this device, we are moving this game object by 5 units every frame like this like this like this but as you can see we have an error here and if we read the error it, it says cannot modify your value type return value of unity engine dot transform dot position that means we cannot modify this transform dot position dot x value directly unity doesn't give us permission to modify these values directly then how can we change the position well, to change the position, first of all, we have to store the position inside a temporary variable. Then we have to change the value of x in the temporary variable and then put the temporary variable inside this position. Okay. As an example, as you can see, if I create a variable named temp here, that means it's a temporary variable, um, temp pose. So that means at the start, we are storing the position inside this temporary vector 3 variable. Now in the update, we write tempos.x plus equals 5f. Okay. Okay, we have declared it here, so we cannot do it here. First of all, let us. Since we have declared it in the start function, so we cannot access it from the update function. We have to declare it outside so that we can access it from everywhere. So let us declare it outside. And here we have to write only tempos. Okay, now we can. What is happening? Equals 5. F. Tempos does not exist in the current context. Okay, <laughs> I forgot to use the semicolon here. Okay, so as you can see now, now we are storing the position in a temporary variable named tempos. Then we are changing the x value of that temporary variable. And again, we have to put this value inside our original transform dot position equals tempos. Okay, so now again we are we are putting this modified value of the whole transform the position component. Uh, not this. Okay, we are putting the original modified value of the transform the position uh, 
dot x or the temporary value that we have created from transform to position dot x and then we have modified it then we are putting that value again inside this okay so whenever you want to modify the position of the uh, of the game object you cannot do directly you cannot do it directly you cannot modify it directly first of all you have to store it inside a temporary variable you can do it here as here or you can do it in update function first of all you have to store the temporary position I'll give it here first of all you have to store the temp position in a temporary variable then you have to change the value in the temporary variable and then you have to put the value of the temporary variable again in the original variable or in the original position okay so let's go and run this as you can see now the error is gone and if I run it right now, as you can see, it moves too fast in the right direction as we are modifying the value of the x. If I just give the value 1, and now if I run it, as you can see, it moves by 1, it moves by 1 units in the right direction each and every frame. Okay, since in each and every frame in the update, we are modifying the value by 1, so that is why it is moving by 1 in the x-axis. So this is it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day. See you in the next video.